Frantic emergency phone call Lossy Lover made after discovering pop star lifeless in bed. George Michael S. Lover spent an hour trying to awaken the star after he died, a leaked emergency call recording has revealed. Fadifa Watts, 43, tells the ambulance emergency call handler, I've even been trying to wake him up but it was not possible. He has gone. He has blue dot. It comes as Fawats has reportedly been banned from his funeral by the superstar as Furious family, The Sun reports. In the recorded call, Fawats is later heard saying, It s George Michael. I think he s dead. He s dead. Dot. Australian hairdresser Fawats, 43, is heard explaining, I've even been trying to wake him up for the last hour but it was not possible. He s gone. He s blue. He has gone. Dot. British police are investigating 53-year-old George S. last hours and the moments after he died at home on Christmas Day. Thwaites has also faced questions from the star as millions of fans about exactly what happened in the house in Goring, Oxfordshire, The Sun reported. The full extent of the four-and-a-half-minute emergency call made by Thwaites after he found the singer lifeless in bed has finally surfaced. In it Fawats requests an ambulance and is put through to a female handler. She asks him if the patient is conscious and breathing and Fawats confirms that the ex-swam pin-up is not breathing. In his shocked state, Fawats is unable to quickly give the full postcode of George S. Cottage admitting that he is shaking. The handler then asks where George S. body is and Fawats replies, he s in bed. Dead. He s cold and he s blue, yes, he s very stiff. He s dead, he s dead. Dot. Asked by the operator if the singer is beyond help, Fawat said he had spent an hour trying to revive him. The operator goes on to ask if George's death was expected. Fawat's replies, no, 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 I've even been waiting for him to wake him up for like, you know for hours and he wouldn't he wake up, I went to wake him up and he was gone, you know, he s not there. Thwaites adds, it s George Michael, you know, the singer question mark. The tape is the clearest account yet of what happened after George was found dead. It appears to reveal that Thwaites waited hours for George to wake up on Christmas morning. Thwaites refused to comment when asked by The Sun about the contents of the 999 tape. He has faced repeated questions about his movements on the day George died but there is no suggestion that he is being treated by police as a suspect. The celebrity hairstylist George S. partner for several years wrote on Twitter on Boxing Day, It s a Christmas I will never forget finding your partner dead peacefully in bed first thing in the morning. I will never stop missing you 20. He later insisted the pair had spent the night apart and he discovered George's lifeless body the next day. Thwaites said, I never saw him. I fell asleep in my car and I never saw him that night. The police know everything. That's the most important thing. The singer's death remains unexplained. A post-mortem proved inconclusive. Closive.